How is it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my Skyrim playthrough. We are here in Morthal with y'all and with Barbus and we have become the Thane of this little town. But uh, we have also bought a plot of land um, and basically we're going to build a house. And uh, I believe it's this one here, Winstad Manor. I think that I think that's where we need to go to build our house, but we basically have to uh, buy all the materials and stuff like that for it, uh, because you have to build it from scratch. This is uh, part of the Hearthfire DLC. So uh, before we go up and explore the plot of land I've bought, what I might actually do is uh, go across and see if we can buy some. Uh, the reason I'm I'm swimming, by the way, I want to try and find some fish as well, but. I don't know how deep this water is. I don't think we can go underwater here. So we won't worry about that. Let's just see if we can get some lumber for uh, for the building site off this guy. Here for work. No, Can I'm not here for work. Okay, that guy's not going to talk to me. How about you, buddy? Good to see you again, friend. Uh, what isn't the Yarl dealing with? Trust you saw the house that burned down. Peculiar bit of business that was. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Tales of monsters. Now this wizard in our midst. What's a man to do if he can't look to his yard for help? Uh, you seem upset about it. The world's something. going mad, and our yard does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. You don't trust the yard? How can I? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falcon, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons. What help could Idgrad be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. Okay, so it's just going to have a bit of a whinge about his yell and stuff like that. Uh, we probably have to go to our building site in order to uh, actually... Open up the option to buy materials for it, maybe. So we have to head up north here, I believe, past Ustengrav. So let's um, let's find our horse. I think he might be on the other side of town here. Well, actually, we want to go north here. Let's just call. Let's just call our horses. Alright, just make sure I got my other shout on in case we run into trouble on the road. Now I think we need to head in this direction, let's just double check here. North and east a little bit. Then we'll come back to this lumber yard and get some, uh, some timber. This over here. Oh, it's just some swamp fungal pod. So apparently, there's a pretty pretty good view from this uh, from this site. Wow, there's a lot of fish in there. I want to grab some. Give me those fish. I journey with my father on hunting expeditions. This carp galore, massive school of them. It's crazy good. Pick all these up. The main ones I like are the river beddies, but I guess we got a bunch of different fish there. Is there any more down here? Oh great, we got some troll action. Oh, I've got the wrong magic. Let's have a look here. Firebolt might be better. attack good stuff I don't really use the troll fat for anything at the moment so I'm not even gonna bother looting their bodies 
I don't want to get too distracted here. Let's probably head back to the horse. I've got a few fish there anyway. Keep heading north. Across the swamps. Let's avoid this mud crab. Okay, Wilston Grab is up here. We got a bunch of bad guys here. I'll come clear this area out later. Check out what they've got for me. How far have we come? Okay, basically straight ahead here. There should be like a workbench. Yeah, here we are here. This is the site, right here, Winstad Manor. That is a pretty cool view, look at that. Now, I haven't built this particular house before. The one I've built before uh, was actually the one not far from, uh, from Riverwood. Got some, uh, what are those things called down there? Big walrus looking things. Hawkers. I'm not going to kill them. Well, I guess we are going to kill them. Barbus is getting involved. Alright, let's take them out then. Hopefully they respawn. I don't know. Hopefully they respawn. Feel a bit bad. Be killing them. Oh, we get some gold. Let's just grab the stuff off them here. Yeah, hopefully they respawn. We got some, uh, some, like, toadstool type things. I don't know what they are. But, uh, usually at each building site, there's, um, basically everything you need to start off with your first little house. Like, we even have a chopping block here. Um, what do we got over here? Let's have a look. So we've got the plan for the house here. So you can see here that basically now we can buy lumber for the house and use the drafting table to begin building the house. Uh, this is the first thing you can build, the small house layout. And uh, if we actually build that like so, let's have a look here. So you can see we've got the outline for the house. This is where the small house is going to be located. Uh, we've got a little bit of lumber here, 20 log pole. And in the chest we should have some beginning stuff. We've got a little bit of clay, one corundum ingot, Six iron ingots, some quarried stone, and we have the beginner's guide to homesteading as well to help us out as well. So that's pretty cool. Getting started, etc. Yeah, and we also have an anvil. So let's have a look around and find where the stuff is located. So we want to find where... Okay, here's our clay deposit here. Usually you'll find like some ore deposits and stuff like that as well. Around the place. They're not always right next to it. I wonder if we can get snowberries from up here. It would be cool if we could. Um, there should also be an area where, where we can uh, quarry rock. We'll just check out the neighborhood here. Okay, we've got a pick here. This is where we we quarry the rock. Just have a quick look back here. Let's see what's over here. Okay, we got uh, that over there. Looks like. Just some obelisks. We've got an area here we can clear out, I guess. Let's discover it. I'm not going to explore it right now. Or is this? Highgate Ruins. That looks pretty cool. So 
So we've got our clay, we've got our quarry. Ideally, I'd like to find an iron deposit. See what's up here. This is probably a bit too far away. Come back here, goat. Oh, I sent him flying. That is awesome. Give me those horns. Okay. My father wanted me to follow in his footsteps as a hunter, but I set my aspirations a bit higher. He never complained. I miss him. Let's look over here. You can find the ore deposits. Wasn't anything just here. Ah, uh, here we go. What's this? Iron ore. Awesome. So I think once you mine those, they should um, respawn again after a certain amount of days in game. So we've got our iron ore, we've got our clay, we've got our stone quarry. Um. They're the main things we wanted to identify in this area. So uh, what I'm going to do next, guys, is I'm going to go and uh, buy some materials and stuff like that. We're going to get tons and tons of iron, wood, uh, this lumber. And uh, I'll get some clay, I'll get some rock, and uh, we'll fill the chest with that. And then we'll get started on building this thing. So I'm going to probably cut this section out, guys, and I'm going to come back. And uh, show you the building process here, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back and uh, and start erecting this this manor. Doing some building, eh? We can deliver it wherever you need. Sure thing, friend. I can use a break anyway. 